There are a lot of games nowadays that provide a very cool feature for Twitch streamers, and that is Twitch chat interactions. And I personally think it is one of those features that are very, very cool. And especially if you're sharing your own game with streamers, I think it can be a lot of fun. I personally tried implementing this feature on my own previously, and it wasn't really a pleasant experience because there weren't enough materials and information about how to exactly implement Twitch chat interactions. But after I was able to figure it out, I thought that it would be best to not make a tutorial about it, but rather make a tool that will allow developers to easily implement this very cool feature into their games. So let me walk you through the tool that I made. First of all, you're going to want to download and import the Unity package that will contain the tool. Once it has been downloaded, just drag it into your project. And if done correctly, you should see a special window pop up on the top bar, which will open the Twitch commands window for you. Now the second step is you have to register your game on Twitch. And this is necessary for security reasons. Every single time you will connect to your Twitch chat, you're going to have to pass in a special token because otherwise, without it, you will easily be able to get hacked or at least your players who will be streaming your game on Twitch. In order to register your game on Twitch, you have to visit the link that I will leave in the description down below. So go ahead and visit that and you will see all the necessary steps that are required over there. Now the third step is to get the client ID of your registered game from Twitch. Once you've got that, paste it in the client ID field of the settings tab inside of the Twitch window. Moving on, now you've pretty much set up the tool and you can start creating your own commands that you can call from your Twitch chat. As an example, let's first create a new class which will inherit from the Twitch Mono Behavior class. Then let's create a method inside of it and call it move object. Let's give it arguments of X and Y. Let's also give it some logic. Let's also attach it to an object in our scene. Now let's add the Twitch command attribute on top of the method that we have created. You must specify the name of the command first. Optionally, you can provide other aliases for the command. So instead of using the name, you could also use one of the aliases that you provide in order to call the command. Another optional parameter is a default cooldown value, more on cooldown values afterwards. And there you go. You now have your first command in your Twitch commands window. You can see some details about it as well as be able to enable or disable it. We're not done yet, however, because before establishing a connection between your game and the Twitch chat, you must authenticate the user. In order to simplify things, I've created a demo scene with a little menu that has a form, which will authenticate the user to be able to connect their chat with the game. As soon as the user is authenticated, they should be able to easily connect to the chat and receive all commands along with all incoming messages and information about the senders of those messages. As you can see, we have our Twitch chat fully interacting with our game right now. Moreover, there are currently two modes for our commands, limitless and cooldown based. When on limitless mode, commands do not have any limits as to how much they can be called and when they can be called. When on cooldown mode, however, each command that gets called will be temporarily unavailable depending on how much you specify for its cooldown. You can specify a cooldown amount for each command separately in the Twitch commands window. Additionally, I made several other prefabs that you can use in your game straight away. That is a Twitch chat panel which will receive all of the incoming messages from the Twitch chat and display them properly. There are a few events that you can subscribe to using the tool so you can get the information of users when there is a message that comes in. And by that, I mean what kind of badge they have and all other information about the user itself. You can imagine how many possibilities there are with this tool. 
your chat could be controlling some kind of bot inside of your game in order to help out the player or players or your twitch audience could be spawning different kinds of enemies at you so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you want to see more epic game dev content like this then be sure to subscribe and leave a like if you have any questions suggestions or concerns please leave them down below in the comments and i will see you guys next time peace out Thank you.